Hey guys, this is Joe. I'm the Digital Astronomer. Thank you for tuning in to my channel. We are now in about mid-June, and since January, I have been focusing almost all of my attention on galaxies. Tonight, I'm going to shoot one more, um, I think just one more. This is NGC 4565, which is also known as the Needle Galaxy. Stick around. I'm going to show, tell you a little bit more about this interesting object, and then we're going to look at how I captured it in the final picture. Okay, I have Stellarium opened here. I'm looking towards the southwestern sky. Here you see the constellation Virgo, where I've been spending pretty much all of my winter and early spring looking at the various galaxies that are located in this region. Here is the constellation Leo. This star right here is Denebola. If we begin to zoom in here, you will see in just a moment this very interesting uh, thin line that goes across the sky. This is the Needle Galaxy NGC 4565. Now this was first discovered by William Herschel in 1785. You might remember that Herschel is also the person that discovered Uranus. Now, that really is not germane to this galaxy at all. I just like to say Uranus. Anyways, because it's um, bright and it's close comparatively uh, to our galaxy, and it's relatively large, it's roughly one third the uh, one third larger rather than our Milky Way galaxy. This is a galaxy that has been intensely observed studied and photographed. Obviously you can see why it's called the Needle Galaxy. It's thin. We're looking at it very edge on. But as you'll see in the final picture, it has very distinct dust lanes in this very large central bulge. Now, there are numerous other galaxies located within this um, image. You'll see up here, I see 3582. Down here is NGC 4562. Now, the way I'm going to orient my final picture, this will actually be on top. But this is a, um, a small barred spiral galaxy that's about 55 million light years away. And if I go over here just very quickly to my Astro Bin account, I'll show you here just real quick. Um, when, I, when I posted this up on Astro Bin, just want you to notice when I go in here, this is all plate solved. Look at all of the smaller galaxies and objects that pop up here. Of course, uh, up here is NGC 4562. Uh, but notice that just numerous, this is just a, a galaxy rich area as we look out through there. So rather interesting. Okay. Okay, I'm going to apologize for this. My sound did not come out on my capture video. So I'm actually coming back in and dubbing sound over top of this uh, video of the capture video. But anyways, um, you can see here that I'm shooting. This will be the second shot that I took in the evening. My plan was to shoot 80, 90 second images. Um, I have my camera cooled down to 10 degrees. And you can see it was a pretty good night. Um, later on in the evening, the full moon came up, and but I was far enough away from it that I really didn't have too much of a problem. Um, you can see here that I can see the disk of the, uh, of the galaxy pretty well. Here's the central bulge. Um, here I, I'm going to show you just real quick the um, image that I took the uh, previous night. Um, and I had captured, I think, 50 frames the night before, 40 or 50 frames, and this was the image that I, uh, I processed with it, and you can see it came out pretty good. Still not enough detail here for me in the dust lane, so I decided to go back. I wanted to get a little bit more detail and a little bit more information, and so I went back and started adding on. This is my guiding 
Guiding was pretty good that night. This is about as good of guiding as I ever get. You can see my RA is off 1.20. It actually approved a little bit during the night. It actually got down closer to 1, and I was pretty happy with that. But you can see, getting pretty good, round stars. Um, pretty happy with how this is looking so far. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, keep capturing, and uh, we'll be back and look at the processing and the finished product. Okay, so this was the picture that I got out of Astro Pixel Processor. The first thing I'm going to do on this is I'm going to go up and, and run a couple of add-ons that I've got for Photoshop. The first thing I'm going to go is run Hosta La Vista Green. I'm going to run it. That way I'll get rid of a little of the green tint. I'm also going to run another add-on from Pro Digital Software called Astro Flat Pro. And that's going to help me flatten out the picture and also get rid of these, um, these circles down here that my flats did not get out. I, I'm going to have to shoot a new set of flats and see what's going on with that. But okay, so I run that. That flattens the picture, gets rid of a lot of that. The only other thing I've got to do now is I'm going to crop it. Oops. I'm going to crop the picture a little bit. I'm going to come back later on and use the spot healing tool to get rid of some of these uh, orange uh, spots, these blue spots. They're going to come out more prominently in the next step. But when I go over here to camera raw, I'm just going to make a couple of small adjustments. I'm going to I'm going to turn the blacks up just a little bit. I'm also going to see what happens if I bring the texture up a little bit, bring the texture just a little bit. That way you can see I'm starting to get a little bit of this dust lane showing up in the galaxy a little bit better. I'm going to turn up the saturation so that I can uh, get a little bit more color in the stars, maybe a little bit more vibrance. There we go. Um, again, I'm not going to do a whole lot with this. I can play around with some of these switches. I'm going to actually turn the highlights down a little bit. I really want to get this dust lane to pop out. Okay, and I'll play around with this for a little while. Then I'll come over here to this tab. I'll sharpen the image just a little bit. And then for noise reduction, I'm just going to pull the luminance uh, bar over here. Get rid of some of that noise. I can get. I can put a little more contrast in there. Okay, so you can get the idea. You can play around with this for as long as you want. Okay, so then I go back over here. Click, click OK. That applies it. Then I'm just going to take this spot healing brush right here, and I'm going to go over these bad pixels. And in another video, I'll show you. I figured out what my problem was and why this was happening. It was in the way I was stacking. I'll show you that in another video. But um, for now, this is a great way to clean up. If you've got little problems like this in your picture, just use the spot healing brush um, or spot healing tool, and you can remove them out. All right, so I'll go through, and I'll clean up this picture a little bit more. I'll be back in a second, and we'll look at the final product. Okay, here's the final picture that I produced in Photoshop, and I really like this. This thing came out better than I could have possibly imagined. You can see up here, the little satellite galaxy. I love that I, the dust lane really popped up. The contrast in, in this picture came out better than I possibly could have imagined. And um, you can see I've got a nice, um, clear, it's, it's very... Uh, um, I'm really happy with this picture. This came out better than I could have possibly expected. Again, you could see um, some detail there in the central bulge. You could see that central brightness right here. Um, and I don't know if that's in the middle of the galaxy or if that's a star in between. I'm going to have to do some research and find out. But um, anyways, that's the final picture. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please do me a favor. Uh, and subscribe to my channel. I'd also appreciate it if you'd click on like and also share so that we can spread the word and help me build a little bit better audience. All right. Thanks. I hope the, you enjoyed it. Come back next week and we'll be shooting some more objects in the night sky. Thanks for tuning in. Just a quick reminder, if you enjoyed this video, please help support me by clicking on thumbs up and share. Thank you.